Hello class, what I would like to do for you is to simplify and clarify the process of uh, insulin in the system during the absorption phase, which takes place immediately following a meal. Now, insulin is secreted by the pancreas, and it does not like excess amounts of glucose in the bloodstream. Excess amounts of glucose in the bloodstream can cause death. So insulin does not like glucose just roaming around in your bloodstream, wreaking havoc and causing death. So what it does is insulin takes the glucose and it transports it across cellular membranes and then turns it into glycogen. This glycogen is stored often in the cells of the liver as well as in the muscles, and then it can be used later. Insulin also transports amino acids into cells and it transports fats into cells. That is the role of insulin immediately following a meal. Now let's look at the post-absorptive phase when glucose and other nutrients are low and we need them for our energy. Now glucagon is a hormone released from the pancreas gland. Do not get this confused with glycogen. They, they look alike, but we've got glucagon is a hormone being released from the pancreas gland. It goes into the cell and it converts the glycogen. Now remember glycogen is just another name for glucose that is being stored. So gl glucagon goes into the cell, it gets the glycogen that's being held captive in the cell, and then it changes it back into its original form, which is glucose, to be used. So glucagon also has another important function Glucagon takes the glycerol that's found in fatty acids and it turns it into glucose. And glucose is important in our brain functioning because we can't use fatty acids or glycerol. So let's recap the entire process. First of all, during a meal, we have too much glucose and the pancreas puts a stop to this. It sends out insulin, it takes that glucose, and it transports it across the cell to be saved for later. And it changes that glucose during captivity into glycogen. And that's where it's stored in the liver and muscles. When we need to use it, the hormone glucagon goes into the cells especially into the liver, and gets that glycogen, brings it back out across the cell membrane, turns it back into glucose, where we can use it. Simple, huh?